Hi guys, it's Lana. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Now, today we are up to something very exciting. And listen, I know I say that every time, but genuinely we are today. So today I will be doing my very first one day event. So I need to start getting ready. So I'll just take you through a bit of what I've been up to. So true to form, Jensen could not let me have one day of peace and decided to rip off his shoe the day before we were due to do the mini one day event. Look at him, he's dead cute, he's very apologetic, but luckily my amazing barrier Elliot managed to come out and get the shoe back on the day before, which was great, which meant we also had time to go through a little bit of our dressage test that we'd be performing today, so this was obviously the day before, and we're just going through little bits of it, just basically making sure I know it. The best I can equivalent this to, this is B92, is to a prelim. Um, it felt really nice, really cute, and we managed to keep it really good. And then it was time to bath Jensen, the joys of having a white horse, little bless him. Although I have to say the stream coming out of that hose is a little bit pathetic. So as you can imagine, we were there a while. So this is Jensen all finished. Now all he needs to do is dry and he is looking lovely the night before. And I was very proud of how white I got this tail, so yay. But then tomorrow comes. Up this morning, clean, clean, clean. And then we come to this. So. We're gonna need a quick trip to the wash box, methinks. Adorable, adorable, adorable. Where's his mane gone? Like, I can't, I can't flat that. And then he's just got this random long bit. So um, I'm just gonna brush that nice and away. And that's just gonna have to be that. Oh my god, that follow up flat don't look good. Oh well, you look adorable, yay! So following my cheeky little breakdown there about the poo stains and the plaits, it was time to get loaded up. Now today we'll be taking the Equitrek Day Trekker. Now I love this, there's always plenty of space for Jensen in the box and loads of room for me to store my stuff and get changed where there's not poo everywhere, which is great. All right guys, so we are officially here at the venue, ready to get started and just walking the course while I'm waiting for mum to get here with Jensen. I did pass her on the M1 on the way here and she flagged me out the window, which I thought was rather rude. Um, but yeah, this is fence number one. We've got the start box behind me. So I'm just gonna quickly walk it and hopefully I remember it. <laughs> So whilst I was walking the mini cross country course, mum pulled up and Jensen was in there and ready to rock and roll. So next up was to walk the show jumping course. This is all very much. Right, so the course is staying the same for the 70. So I'm just gonna learn it by looking at the 60. Trust me, I ain't jumping that. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go around it now and try and learn it, but we all know my rubber top of courses. <laughs> all right guys, so I am all dressed for my first ever one day event. I'm so nervous, but I'm excited. So I'm in my MS1 Pro Charles Owen helmet. How does it look? It's its first time out and I've specifically bought a nice black hat silk for it because apparently eventers don't like bling. What's wrong with you guys? Um, and then I'm in my little tweed jacket and I've got a little coloured stock and I've got my number babe. I've got my breeches, don't judge me. And then I've got my black boots. So do I look like a proper eventer yet, guys? So now it's time to get Jensen ready. We've got the dressage first. I think I've learned the show jumping, I think I've learned the eventing. Um, learning all three in one day is causing me stress, but I did 13 tests in one week. So, you know, I should have this. So I will admit to you guys, this is the one bit of the day where I felt even slightly confident. This was so out of my element, but doing the dressage, I was like, it was like a big sigh of relief. So this is me just going in the warm up now. I'm doing a little bit sideways there. You saw in the previous clip and then quick girth check. So I did bring my dressage saddle with me as well as my jumping saddle. We're taking this very seriously guys. Um, so quick girth check before then popping him into canter. Now Jensen is a bit like Ella. He prefers to warm up in canter. I do it on the horse's preferences. If that's what he likes, that's what I'm gonna do because that's what he's more comfortable in. And if you notice as well, he warms up in a slightly shorter frame than Ella does. And that is because he's just happier when he feels a bit more of contact. Otherwise he just kind of gets a little bit he wants to feel you at the end of the rain more than Ella might so that's how they differ when it comes to dressage so as I'm warming up here I'm just doing lots of little circles and this is just so I make sure that I've really got him around my inside leg now I have to say warming up in the eventing dressage warm-up it was an interesting experience especially as because there were just like people 
everywhere. It was almost like a show jumping warm up, but at least in the show jumping warm up, you've got fences in the middle to go around. Here was just a free for all. So people are doing circles left, right, and center, including me. But it was really good fun. Everyone was so lovely that I spoke to, and Jensen felt absolutely amazing. He was really moving nicely, reacting to my aids beautifully, and honestly, he just felt great. This was some of the best dressage we'd ever done. It's like he knew that we were going to be doing eventing today and is like ah, this is what i like so true to form i will be taking you through a full dressage test breakdown with all the scores included so the first movement of course is entering a proceed and working trot down the center line without halting and then track right so for our center line we did score a seven which i was really pleased with but the judge's comment is that the pole was a little low but it was straight and that completely makes sense because jensen and i are working on making sure that i don't get him too killed up at times so the next movement is B circle right 20 meters diameter and we scored a seven for this and I was super pleased again with that. He's going in such a lovely rhythm and he's going really nicely. I just need to make sure that I watch that pole a little bit and I'll be working on it in lessons making sure that I don't get him a bit too low at times. And then between F and A, we've got a transition to walk three to seven steps, then proceed to working trot. And we scored a seven for this because it was fluent. Then we've got KXM, change the rain in working trot, and we also scored a seven for this. I really love the rhythm he's working in. He's just moving so nice and sweetly. Honestly, when I tell you this felt like the best dressage test we'd ever done. Then we've got working canter left, we scored a seven for this, and then into a circle left 20 meters diameter at C, and we scored an eight for this because there was nice balance, which was the judge's comments. He just looks so lovely. His canter's definitely his best pace. Then C, H, E, K, working canter left and K, working trot, and we scored a seven for this. There was no judges comment on this, but it felt really, really nice. So I was super happy with that. Then at B, we've got circle left, 20 meters diameter, and we scored a seven for this. This was also the first time I had done a dressage test on grass. So I thought that was a complete experience. It wasn't actually that different to riding in an arena. Jensen actually felt really good. He was such a good boy. Then between M and C, we've got a transition to walk, three to seven steps, then proceed to work and trot. We scored a 6.5 for this. And the judge's comment says it was a little hurried in the upwards transition. So we'll have to make sure that we work on that. Then HXF, change the rain and working trot, and we scored a seven for this. Once again, he's got a lovely rhythm, he's got a nice frame. He generally just seems really happy and sweet. Then between F and A, we've got working canter right, which we scored a seven for. And then our circle right 20 meters diameter, A, scored 7.5. And that was because he was supple to bend, but we could have had more. But the judges said, however, there is a lovely balance. So I was really, really happy with that. Then A, K, E, H, working canter right, H, working trot, and then C, medium walk. And we scored a seven for this. And I was actually really happy because this is the quickest part of the test. The trot and then to the walk comes up really fast straight from the canter. So I was really happy at how balanced and happy he did that. Then we've got MXK, free walk on a long grain, which we scored an eight for. And I was so pleased with that because we've been working on his free walk and trying to get him to really, really stretch down. And he proper went for it. I mean, look at his little bum going. He's doing a nice, lovely swinging walk across there, which is all that we needed. Then it's K, medium walk, and A, down the center line. And we scored a seven for this. So I was very happy with that again because it's sometimes a little bit hard to make sure that you maintain the rhythm as you're picking them up from that free walk and he just did it absolutely lovely so pleased with him then at x we've got whole immobility salute and we scored a seven for that as well he was such a good boy so for paces we scored a seven impulsion another seven and submission a seven and then position and seat of the rider another seven lovely fluent harmonious tests and pleasing work shown Super, says the judge. So I was really happy with those comments. Stuff to work on and some lovely positive comments to encourage me to come back. Okay, so just on the dressage, felt actually really nice, really sweet test. Um, 
genuinely he was absolute pleasure to ride it's one of the best dressage tests i think we've ever done i don't know what the score will reflect but as i said we're just here for a fun day out so i don't really mind but he just felt absolutely lovely to ride there was no battle no nothing um i kind of think he knows what he's doing today i think he's tweaked it you know i don't think i've ever felt him so nice so my ambitions for the show jumping was not to be fast and furious we just need a clear all i wanted to do was make sure i did dressage between each fence like vicky has been telling us to do and just get a nice clear rhythm take lovely nice lines to things and now i'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy it Oh, he was such a good boy. I think I was patting him before we were even on the ground. Okay, so that is two phases down cross country to go. The show jumping was actually so much fun. He was literally such a good boy. I started patting him before we'd even landed the last fence. I was like, yay. So we're just gonna get changed now, but Jensen is the best boy. He was such a good lad. Right then, third outfit of the day. We are in pale blue cross country colors. Jensen, I promise, is really enthusiastic about it all. He just doesn't really look like it. So we got the cross country. I'm gonna see if I know it or not. We'll we'll find out when we get around it. Um, but uh, yeah, really look forward to it. it. Should be fun, and we're just gonna have a good time. Hopefully, not too fast a time though. All right, guys, officially on my boy, and we're about to head over. I've got the nervous shakes. I've not been able to eat my breakfast because I feel not sick, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. It should be a good time. And hopefully Jensen just holds my hand around it like he has done in both the dressage and the show jumping phase so far. So I'm looking forward to it. Also could throw up Danny's shoulder. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> So when I tell you I was feeling so nervous for this bit, I think it's just because I've not done much of it before. The last time I did anything like this in a competition environment was doing hunter trials when I was much younger than I am now and had apparently a lot more confidence than I do now. This is literally just a mini one day event. It's 70 centimeters. Jensen's more than capable. And look, he's so excited for it already. I was trying to walk before we went in the start box and Jensen was like, no, we're going to trot baby girl. We are ready for the day. <laughs> um, um, but no, I was super looking forward to it because as you can tell that Jensen's just so up for it And I just really needed today for my confidence to be able to start doing it and going out and doing a bit more of this Because I am having even if you couldn't tell I'm having so much fun with my boy So without much further ado, it was time to set off I was so excited Jensen was totally up for it. I mean look at the way he clocks that first fence straight away Off we go
Right guys, just on the cross country, had an absolute ball. Um, <laughs> we went around it like 90 miles an hour and you should have seen us coming up to that final fence. He thundered along there, um, but he just felt absolutely brilliant. I told that said, he's not even sweaty. He could go around and do it all again. I had such a good time. I couldn't even stop him in the start box though. I had to keep running around because he was like, let's go. Let me go. Let me go, bro. But uh, no, I had a brilliant time. Um, and I think I might end up eventing again. I had a good time. Ian, I didn't throw up. <laughs> right, so I hopped off him in the warm up and just walked him back in hand. Oh, what are you seeing? And uh, just walked him in hand because he's had my weight on his back all day. And he's been such a good boy. <laughs> Oh, Jensen. Um, yeah, he's been absolutely brilliant. I adore him. He was such a good boy. So now that I'd finished riding and was just waiting for the results and the sheets, it was officially scram time while Jensen got some chill time with a drink and his net. So it was cheesy chips time and dirty burger time. Oof, it was so good. So currently sat after having scrammed my cheesy chips. They were so nice. But we're just waiting now for the class to finish um, and then just see where we've come. But uh, very pleased with the score of 29, which in dressage terms means 71 um, in the dressage. Really, really happy with that because it was such a sweet test. But a double clear, so I've got a clear in the show jumping and a clear in the cross country. So it's just waiting and seeing what happens. Um, but regardless, I'm so, so proud of Jensen today. He has been absolutely brilliant. He has held my hand the entire day, all the way through it. I got a little bit nervous and he was like, well, why are you even bothered, mum? Just let's go. So I want to say a massive thank you to my mum for letting me take her baby out for the day. Um, she has been absolutely brilliant. She's driven me today and she's let me take her horse out and about and have a good time. And I say what, I've never seen Jensen more chilled in his life. He is just like, yeah, this is, this is my element. This is where I'm supposed to be. He's just so calm today he's like this is fine <laughs> even if we did do the cross country much faster than i probably wanted to <laughs> okay mum has purchased for us some pictures so you got the show jumping in each corner and then the eventing picture in the middle and then the main man yeah she decided to get it for us because she said that we'd never have another first one again so this is so lovely it needs to go to a place of honor back at home so my first ever one day event has gone really well i am so so pleased with how he's gone i've literally all i've done this video is wax lyrical about how good of a boy this horse is um i was really really nervous i will admit so nervous about doing this and i've done nothing but have so much fun all day which was the entire aim of the game to go out and have a bit of fun you know it wasn't pure dressage there's no regionals nothing to qualify for we are just here for a good time and jensen really has given me the best time today i've i've not i've not had a smile um i've not not had a smile on my face all day so whilst I waited for the class to finish and the results to come out, mum decided to take Jensen home and I'd wait back with the car and Loki. And um, Jensen has just been such a good boy, it was time for him to go home and have a chill. So the Rosies are finally out and we won! <laughs> so Jensen and I's very first one day event, my very first taste of the eventing life. And we've come out with um, a place in that I was not expecting whatsoever. Um, today has literally just been so much fun. Um, I can safely say Jensen pretty much won this by himself. <laughs> he was such a good boy, held my hand all the way through it. He's an utter legend of a horse. I just honestly I couldn't be more pleased mum's already disappeared she couldn't see um so she's taking him back home again because it took quite a while for the class to finish so I waited back here um but yeah I'm so proud of him okay guys that is Jensen back sorry guys I had to pause but what is that bun <laughs> anyway carry on cool back in his proper outfit um, and that is all from me today. I super hope you guys, you guys enjoyed coming with me. I know I super enjoy bringing you guys along with me and my boy. I've had such a good time today. I um, think we might be giving a vent in another go. I did have a good time. Do you know what? It's always great when it, when it all goes right. Um, I'm so proud of him. He's been such a good boy. Um, and yeah, so for my first taste of the eventing world, that was so much fun, really enjoyed it. Still not giving up on my dressage dreams, so <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, super hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to give it a big 
thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is going to be uploaded. And from me and Jensen, it is goodbye.